In the past year, more than 28 million Americans have been diagnosed with COVID-19, but some are still left with lingering symptoms for weeks or for months. Joining us now is NBC News correspondent Stephanie Gosselin. Stephanie, I know you went inside the effort at the National Institutes of Health as they investigate what we call COVID long haulers. So we know this is an issue for so many people out there. How big of a study is this? It's a huge study, and we spoke to the director of the NIH, who said that they, they realized that there was a problem, and this has kind of been percolating for a while now. Obviously, we've been dealing with COVID for a year, but we didn't realize people were experiencing these long-term conditions until a few months ago, and once they realized it was an issue, they decided to go to Congress to get some money, $1 billion. They are now going to follow tens of thousands of people and try to get to the root of some of the questions that immediately pop up, among them... Who is getting this, this long haul condition? How long will it last? And of course, what is causing it? Right now, they don't have answers to any of those questions. People might think, oh, this just is just happening to people who, are, who have a serious condition and end up in the hospital. That's not the case. We spoke to a, a woman in her 30s who was healthy. She had mild fever about a year ago, and she is now suffering debilitating conditions, some of them neurological. She describes to me something called brain fog, where she can't come up with words. She forgets her train of thought. She's been unable to work now for months. Yeah, we know a lot of people who are dealing with this are really just desperate for any answers. So this will certainly help with that. Now, Stephanie, coronavirus patients can experience a range of symptoms. We know that or in some cases, none at all. Do you know if there are any symptoms that seem to be more associated with those who are long haul patients? Yeah, there are a lot of symptoms. The list is really long. I mentioned brain fog, but there are other things. People have problems breathing. They have problems with their circulation. They have problems, neurological issues with feeling in their hands. Again, you've got that, that brain fog. What's interesting, too, is I spoke to a neurologist who is part of this study, one of the researchers at NIH, and I think most people often think about COVID as being a pulmonary thing, something that just affects your lungs. And what he shows me are brain samples from people who die suddenly of COVID, even though they had very mild symptoms, shows me that there are actual, there's actual brain damage, blood vessels inside the brain that are damaged from COVID. This is very much a neurological condition as well. And while the brain can repair itself, there's concern that if it is bad enough, this damage won't be repaired. And you're talking about people who could have chronic illness for the rest of their lives, potentially. Yes, yeah, Stephanie, you mentioned the that we have been in this pandemic for about a year now. How long do researchers expect it could take for them to learn more about the long haul cases? The director told me that he expects to follow these patients for months, potentially years, and hopefully they will come to the, the root of these causes. He suspects that it is either an issue with the blood vessels or potentially a problem with the immune system kind of going haywire because this is these are people who no longer have COVID in their system. The virus is gone. So potentially you have immune systems that are misfiring. Once they're able to identify the cause, they're going to be much better equipped to actually fight it and potentially help some of these people. All right, work that certainly needs to be done. Thank you so much, Stephanie. We'll see more on Nightly News tonight at 630.